What's going on, guys? It's Uncle Muscles. This is like the third video I'm recording today. If you checked out the other ones, thank you so much. Appreciate it. I hope everybody had a beautiful and happy, blessed 420. Uh, I want to show you guys today the importance of Digby's. I had Digby's. I've been catching Digby's. Uh, pretty much I caught like three the first day I played this game, and then that really kind of kept me in the game just, just off the bat, just because Digby is so cool. I love him. Um, but Digby's are really important, especially early in game. The way you get Digby's is by mining silver. And I'm going to attempt to find a silver note at the end of this video, not in the beginning, so I'll kind of spare you guys. But what you want to do is try to get as many of these Digby's as possible. You also have a chance of getting these Digby's uh, from mining tungsten, but for the most part, you have a very, very high chance of collecting Digby's from just mining silver. And I'll show you right now, in my backpack, I actually have one, two, three, four extra Digby's. These are eight. This is eight Digby's, right? I've given all of these Digby's to Sasha. These are all uh, demo, demo, Demoski right here. These are all his um, uh, Digby's. Well, they're mine, but I gave them to him, actually. And I'll show you why they're so good. The reason why they're so good is because they give you resources. When you get the resources, you can take those resources and smelt them. For passive experience so when you're a brand new player and you have eight digbies running around just catching you materials all day one you don't need automatic miners and then two you got a bunch of minerals early on that you can just leave in your furnaces or whatever and you're making experience passively so it's a really good way to level up especially if you're getting like tungsten ore and stuff like that um digbies will go around and run around and capture any of the materials near your base so like i said you really want to try to mine as much silver early on in the game as possible because if you have eight Digby's in the beginning, because you're probably, unless you have like eels or something and you're doing acid passively, but you don't really need acid that much in the game. You really need more materials and minerals and stuff like that early on. And even towards the late game, it kind of makes sense. But you'll see like there's tungsten right here. These Digby's will pick up the tungsten and then that tungsten you can take to your smelter or whatever. It's just a really, really, really nice way to have a lot of resources, have a lot of materials, um, uh, and get passive experience. I said the same thing twice, but basically get passive experience and have a lot of resources, make a lot of alloy. And then if you, it's just good for ammo and everything. Like you need resources, so it's great. But Digby's are awesome because they just look cool too. So when you have eight of them and you can just flex on all your friends and stuff like that, it's really, really dope. Um, let's see if we can go find a Digby really quickly. Now, part of the problem right now is that I'm so darn slow. Let's see if I have some food. That's about to spoil. So we'll have one or two of these bad boys. We got anything to drink up in this biatch? I got some blueberry soda. Let's go. What's that? Stardust energy drink. I just made that. Good enough. Okay, cool. I'm actually over encumbered too. Now, I believe there is a silver node right over here. Um, and I have solar drills. I actually just got rid of the mimetic. That's how I got my acid drilling or my acid mimetic, which I'm very, very happy about. But I'd love to be able to show you guys what silver looks like. And it'd be so beautiful if coincidentally I got it on this video that I'm trying to show the Digby's. Now, theoretically, it would have been nice if I looked a little bit around for this first before I went and tried to get it. But I would like to be able to find it. Now, I do know there are some silver nodes over here. Uh, oh, there's Zal's territory. Cool. Um, but I don't know where they are. I also have a bunch of gold nodes. By the way, this is Star Trace. You can mine that to get star dust or whatever it's called the uh gold dust the you it's the, basically the juice from the wrestler from the wwf in the late 90s early 2000s that guy they you squeeze the juice out of him and then they bottle it up and that's how you upgrade all your weapons in game wow i'm so slow Oh, my vehicle. I was literally going to try to get on my vehicle. I'd really like to find some silver for you guys. Now, you, like I said, you do have a chance of getting the Digby's. Oh, my God. Am I stuck in these trees? The Joshua trees need to be removed from the game. They are atrocious. Like, they really, they, they can mess up everything. Uh, we were first, right in the, I'll tell you right now. Uh, if you're looking for silver on the map. This, the area I'm in currently is actually fantastic for it, and we didn't know that at first. But if you're in the starting zone, uh, not Blackfell, what is it called? One of the starting zones. Greywater, Blackfell, Deadsville. Deadsville, Deadsville. Along this river, and there was like this weird, where we first started in the game, there was three nodes right near me. So I know in Deadsville, there is a bunch of silver. Now over here by the curtain, this is like the end of the map where I live. 
there should be um is that gold yeah oh no that's sulfur i was finding like three nodes of gold right next to each other and then on i'd walk like five more steps and then i'd find silver too so i just leaked this area to everybody in the, on the map or in the game but it's kind of a pain if you don't have if you're like early level because you need the 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 poison stuff i'm trying i'd really like to just find some silver to show you guys what it looks like and then if i coincidentally just get some oh wait that's my place and my place does have silver back here that's tungsten it looks very similar to tungsten the silver ore but it's like not spiky like tungsten is spiky silver has like the same model as like sulfur almost it's like not as tall but it's got the same color scheme as tungsten. And normally you find like one node of it in the middle of a bunch of other nodes. So it's like, it's usually very, very difficult to see. One method you could use is the survey scanner or the ore survey scanner. Um, and that will make it so you it actually will show you where all the nodes are except silver and gold so if you see a node that is on like you see it with your eyes but it doesn't have an icon on top of it it's basically process of elimination i don't like that i wish that there was a survey level four that would just show you those nodes i feel like if you're going to waste the memetics on it like make it worth 15 or something like that that's fine with me but, I mean, to be honest, the survey mimetics are fairly useless in this game. I, I don't I don't think they're very good. Um, man, this is really... It would have been so cool if I was able to show you, like, a couple gold nodes... A couple gold nodes and some silver nodes. Uh, sorry, I have cotton mouth. We're celebrating again today, so... One of the things I do do is basically what I just did, and that's I will jump to the top of a mountain and then glide and then look for, like, the shiny gold. You got to be careful, though, because a lot of times the shiny gold is copper. But the co the gold nodes, the real gold nodes, look like um, sulfur. Once again, it's like the tiny sulfur, but it's just shiny gold. So it looks, it's like a smaller, it's not like the taller rocks. It's like kind of like these smaller half nodes almost that's maybe one way to put it um less voluminous voluminous uh where is the silver man no gold no uh silver what a bad video what a bad youtuber i am well whatever there's star, star trace uh, you know what? That's good, because that means that you guys won't come to where I live and try to move here now. We're going to move soon anyway. Hopefully the new content gets released, but I do... I mean, I don't want to move necessarily, but... That's just the nature of the game. There's a lot of moving. Man, really, I can't find a silver node for you guys. This is just sad. Or a gold node for you guys. This is, like, really sad. And I can't even run fast, which means I'm just so slow. Which means I have to just keep talking and filling up this blank space with me just rambling about nothing until I find a gold node or a silver node. So a Digby pops up. I've never gotten a Digby from gold, and I've only gotten a Digby once from tungsten. And from what I understand, you can get it from any uh, ore, but I've gotten like a trillion Digbys. I've given them out before too, so it's like I, I just gave away eight. I still have four. Digby's. Um, yeah. Really? No silver over here? Someone must have been mining. I've noticed also with resources like silver and gold, they spawn where, like, it's the same area every time. Or not every time, but, like, it, there, it's the same areas every time, just not the same chance to get it in that area. So like when it seems like when you mine it in, from one like one node, it'll reappear in one of the other spots, and I think that's the reason why I had three nodes right next to me is just because all the other ones were mined out everywhere else, and then the ones near my house had not been mined because I didn't mine them yet. If that makes any sense, 
But I don't really know the mechanics on how nodes work in this game. Uh, so I, you know, don't quote me on that. If it, if anybody knows any specific details about node uh, respawns, uh, please in the uh, comments below, feel free to let us know. Um, one way that we have gotten certain things to respawn is by um, just walking away from an area that seems to like refresh certain things, like chess, I think. But I think it's more of a timer. A lot of the stuff that we come up with is bro science. And I'm very surprised at this moment. I might have to stop the video or I might just start doing it over again from the beginning. We'll see. Um, because normally I just just walking around my, my base, I will just find silver. And it does not take this long. So this was, I thought it would have been like perfect timing to go look for some just because everything else seemed to be working out in my other videos. And not so much on the Digby one. So that might just be it, guys. I That's Star Trace. That's aluminum. You don't need anything in this game except for tungsten. Uh, and then iron. Which is like the little brown one. Uh, and, and then copper in the beginning. But you don't really need bronze. There's all the tungsten. I could be mining that, but no. I'm already over encumbered. Man, I really wanted to show you one of the little chocolate chip cookie silver notes. They're, they look so cool. They're just like a smaller version of the tungsten, but like they have like a matte back black finish. Is that one? That might be it. Is that it? That's silver right there. Thank God. All right, guys, we did it. Oh, my God. 12 minutes in, we got the silver ore. Let's see if we get a chance of getting a Digby. Come on, baby boys. I bet you we can do this. Pray for me. Anyway, that's how you get Digby. We didn't get one there. It'll just pop up on your screen when you get one. I actually have a YouTube short that shows how to do it. But, yeah, that's that's what silver looks like when you get it. And uh, that's it. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. Is that another one? No, that's aluminum. Uh, and Warband Worst Team Ever. We're cooking over here. We're cooking up acid passively. We got Star Trace getting made. We got mixed fuel getting made. We still haven't completed like the high tier, high level PVE stuff, uh, but we'll get there. We're getting there. I have two LMGs that are legendary. I might do another video on, um, uh, like I use a lot of fast gunner stuff. I don't know if that's like the best bonus, but I think if people don't understand how to do the bonus stuff and we kind of just figured it out. So I think I'm going to go through it. That might be the next video. Anyway, I love you guys. Sorry for the long-winded video. I hope you guys got the information if you uh, that you needed. If you guys made it all the way through to the end, I really do appreciate it. You're my besties for the resty. And uh, check me out on Twitch. Hopefully, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye now. I got to go. Bye.